We get them horns up for Richard Miller because today we are doing a band that we are familiar with, Sha. That's right. We're doing uh, From Out of Insane today for Richard uh, uh, Miller. And uh, I was going to the, the, their page here. Um, I, I was going to say that uh, if you follow these videos as we put them out uh, on the day, I mean, of course you're not. You're like, Shane, I don't know which videos you had, but uh, the people that are really into the channel, they, they don't know the schedule, so they watch them the same day. This week has been one hell of a day. I mean, for, from length of songs to band names to it has been like one of those days. So I put Sha in there, but that's been the easiest one to say so far. But we do that song. Um, it's from the Escape From Mind album, From Out Of Insane. And I have to keep checking that because the words From Out Of Insane just do not sound like they should be put together in any way like that. Am I right? Uh, we're going to learn about this band, and then we're going to get into it for Richard. So let's do that now. Sha, uh, old school band or un unknown band or new band or something, 391 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Um, at the top five Jammeronis here, you got Total Devastation, 8,000 uh, plays. Uh, Beware has 6,000 plays. Escape, that comes from this record right here, 6,000 6, plays. Uh, Damned Sinner. Uh, 5,000 plays, and you got Terror Collection, 91. So this is going to be really, really, really old school stuff, right? I think Escape from Mine, this record 1987. Since we're looking into the albums ever so quickly and briefly, let's do that. Yes, indeed, it looks as though... Yeah, 1987's Escape from Mind. Then you've got Beware comes out in 1989. And then 1993, there's a P-S-I-H-O with the dots in it that came out. Uh, what's I see something here that says Fire and Brimstone Collection 2022. Uh, yeah, so it's just, uh, they have put out an album called Fire and Brimstone. It's just a collection of the uh, hot rock and jams that I'm just blathering on about, quite frankly. Uh, let's look into the related artists. This will take us down that rabbit hole of other artists to check out or whatever and uh, see what we got. Death Row, Gamma Side, we've done them. Atomica, yep, we've done a Viking. Hyd Hydravane, you got Intruder, uh, Pyracanda, Pyracanda, uh, Vendetta, uh, Slammer, we've done Vendetta and Slammer. At War, uh, Anacrusis, we've done them. And Atrophy, oh, I love Atrophy. Go listen to a song called Beer Bong from Atrophy, or Socialized Hate from that record. Uh, now what we're going to do is, uh, while we would look into the bio uh, and all that, there is no bio. I'll try and hunt down an image of the band. It'll be a them. They'll be cool. They'll be saying, Dad, we're freaking cool guys. So get over here because we think you're a cool guy too. It is that time we get into the song, From Out of Insane. From Out of Insane. Okay, so here we go. This is the titty titty pie, Richard. You know what that is. That's just an eared bud. That's all it is. I give you a taste. You know, there we go. Oh. Gotta have yourself a Halloween intro. A lot of bands have it. Master of Puppets and shit. Oh, that's old school. Yeah. Hey, what's that? And you gotta bring it all together. Spultra style or something. 
everyone doing something different. These guys are gonna riff forever too, huh? Bro, let's just put six good riffs in. That's all I'm saying. I like voices like this. That almost kind of get a bit of a warrior soul. A little splash of that, but these guys are way heavier. Or more metal, speed metal. That's pretty cool, right? Die with that infection? See, I'm thinking about Sepultura because like, yeah, pick up that beat. Well, walk to our territory. I don't know if that made any sense. This is big chatter boy. That's cool. A lot of bits and pieces where they're all doing their own tricky stuff and bringing it together, you know. This guy's over here. Oh shit, I thought it was that thing for a minute, I was gonna go, wow, where did that come from? Yeah, who's trying to kind of make this stuff really popular there for a time period, you know what I mean? Almost got kind of a prong vibe to it a little bit, you know? Live in the prong family somewhere. Stop it. Like that riff. That almost sounds overkill -y. Like an early record. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is good. These breakdowns always kind of give me a bit of that uh, hardcore, that biohazardy. So the guys go on. Outside of Brooklyn. We're getting to the end of it now, guys. You deserve a towel after that, boys. Outside. And this son of a gun's seven minutes long. Uh, I'm going to say, so I'm gonna, okay, have you ever heard of the compliment sandwich? Have you ever heard of the compliment sandwich? It's where you start off with a compliment, you give some critique, and then you finish off with a compliment. So people leave feeling like, oh, okay, so I got some, some things I need to work on. Uh, here's what I would say for Shaw. I'll, uh, they're not going to listen to me because they're masters and they understand the arts of the instruments and stuff like that. But what I would say is you could literally take that song and carve off a solid four minutes of it, uh, and uh, it would be really uh, right in there, you know, in, in, right up there. Uh, that song that was kicking off was seven minutes long. I don't think you need a seven minute song unless, because you guys have all the riffs. That This song right here, uh, you could have wrote three songs or at least two and a half. Uh, nevertheless, it was damn fine. And I love that. I love that sound. I love that era. I love everything about it. I love his dull sounding cymbal there. <laughs> Everything about that is fantastic because it is, it's recorded wonderfully piece of history. But what say you? Uh, most important part of my video is where you get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think of it. Because you're going to say, shut your damn mouth, Shane. You don't know a goddamn thing. Or you might say, I know everything in the world. Or you could just say that I know a few things fairly well. You could say that too. Uh, but you get down there in the comments and you tell me what you think of the band, okay? So get down there and do it. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of the band. I love the band so, so much uh, that I've got this tattoo and it's, well, it's between my ass cheeks. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, no, all-time favorite album, all-time favorite songs. Tell me the history of this band. What, where are they from? How are they doing? Flame to, you know... Uh, the, the, I'm thinking they're going to be from somewhere else. Have a get down there. Have you ever seen this band live? What are they doing? How are they doing? Are there people, the, the, the band members out there? Are they in other projects? Give me all that stuff down there in the comments below. Or you can say, not good, not great, Shane. I love pop rock, and that was not pop rock. And it was, uh, it, when I turned on my pop rock radio station, uh, I, would, I would have heard four songs in the time that I sat through this video. So not my cup of tea, don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know, don't you know. If you would like to see your request on the channel, very simple and easy, lemon and squeezy. All, all you got to do is hit those links or put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, I see it, like it, and we haven't done it on the channel yet, you'll know because I'll hit it with a heart and tell you we're going to do it for you. Okay? That's all I got to say about that. Richard, there you go. There's your thumbs, my friend. Shah.